It's officially Hooten's house. Just over three hours ago, Jason Hooten was introduced as the 28th coach of this NMSU men's basketball program and the guy tasked with turning this program around and rebuilding the culture. I got a chance to speak with Hooten one on one just after that press conference ended. Take a listen. Coach, firstly, congratulations on getting the job. Why was this the job that you wanted to step away from Sam Houston and take and, and take on this challenge? I, I believe more than anything, just the tradition. You know, I think over the years, uh, everybody nationally has known the, you know, the success of New Mexico State basketball, and also just the the, the potential and the possibilities that are here between resources and support, uh, community. Um, you know, the, the crowds are amazing night in and night out. You know, they're averaging five, six, seven thousand people. And you know, I just felt like at this point in time in my career, it was something that I really wanted to be a part of. There was a lot that happened off the court last season. Why do you think you're the right guy to change things around and, and bring the culture back to this team? Yeah, uh, you know, a question that's obviously fair. Um, yeah, I think more than anything, is just who I am as a person and maybe my track record. You know, uh, being a guy that has always done things the right way and, you know, just had the type of student athlete that's going to make a university proud. You know, a kid, a young man that's going to come in and worry about getting an education and working hard every day and just, you know, trying to do the right things on and off the court. And I felt like at this point in time that, you know, it, it, was, uh, you know, it was something that was a challenge for me and, and something that I usually bring. I know it's only been a few days since you uh, got the job, but when we look at players, whether they return, do you want to bring back players? Is, like, is that up to you at all, or how does that work moving forward, considering there's still our investigations going on? Yeah, still just something that I've, you know, I really don't know a whole lot about. I'm just, you know, I hope tomorrow I can, you know, start looking at those things and just seeing, you know, who's coming back, who wants to come back. I, I don't really know a lot of that, and I know there's still some uncertainty there with other, other things. Um, but, but I believe time will, you know, time will fix that and time will tell. For you, whoever does come and be on this team, what's it all about? What is this team going to look like on the court and off the court? I just I hope that you're going to see uh, you know, a photocopy of the teams that we had at Sam Houston, you know, a, a team that's always going to be known for defense, a team that's always going to be known for you know, physicality, playing hard, uh, aggressive, uh, you know, uh, you know, just uh, I think a, a team that's consistent, you know, a team you're going to see, you know, year in and year out, you're know, going to always do those things, those things that are, you know, that create our culture and those things that you can hang your hat on. Coach, thanks so much for your time and congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, guys, just a bit of a snippet into Jason Hooten and the guy that NMSU uh, got themselves here. And look, when you look at him, it'll be interesting to see what players do return, what players don't return, if they can return. And if Jason Hooten even wants them to return or if he wants to start anew, that's all got to play out in front of us over the next weeks, months, days, etc. Uh, we also did get a copy of Jason's Hooten contract here today. He's getting paid 425000 in that first year on his contract. That increases by 25000 for the next two years and then after that it'll be 475,000 for the rest of the years following for any extensions we'll break down that contract a little bit more uh, but a big reason why we saw an increase in pay is because Hooten has been tasked as the guy to turn this program around both on and off the court and that includes trying to take them back to a tournament and talking about a tournament